Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we'll talk about one of the most commonly used widget called Icon along with its properties and features. So without wasting time, let's get started. Whether it's an app, a website or a desktop application, the use of Icon is common because it describes actions or valuable information in precise way. Flutter allows us to create icon using the widget called icon. Before using icon widget in your project, make sure that you have to use use material design true in your popspec.yaml file. By default, it is made true. That's why you don't need to worry about it. But if you have turned it to false, so make sure that you should turn it to true before using the icon widget. The constructor of icon class requires a positional parameter in the form of icon data. This icon data describes the icon which is to be used in the application. We actually pass the instance of icon data by using the or constants of icon class. So let's write here icons. And once we write these icons, this icons is basically a class that has a huge set of constants. You can say it is a predefined icons available in the Flutter. And all those icons follows the material design guidelines. If you want to get the list of all the icons supported by Flutter, you can visit the Flutter documentation. So here you can find list of all the icons which are supported by this icons class. Link for this particular page is also available in the description. Let's pass some icon here. For example, I'm passing here say icon of person. Let's say, okay, this is the person icon. We you can uh, usually find that in a contact list. We can change the size of uh, this icon. So let's use your size 80. So it's quite big to uh, get visible on the screen. We can even change the color of this icon. So for passing the color values, we can pass the predefined colors using the colors dot some constants, or uh, we can also pass our own colors by passing the instance of color class. We already have a video related to that one that how we can pass the predefined colors and our own colors. So go ahead and watch that one. Let me change the value to red. So it's quite nice. We, we have several options here. For example, say person outline. So we have one more icon person say outline. Okay, let's use here. Uh, now, this is the person with only outline. So, this is what the basics of icon widget. And the last but not the least point is icon widget is not an interactive widget. So, in order to make it interactive, we have to use the widget called icon button or we have to wrap the icon inside inkwell or register detector. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.